What's up, YouTube? It's Brett Dallas. I have about a 20 minute driving window today, so I thought I would take advantage of that and give you guys an update on Kratom withdrawal for me. I decided to stop using Kratom altogether about four days ago. And I want to share with you my experience and what these past four days have been like and give you some of my own perspective on what stopping Kratom entails. First of all, everybody's different. I've learned that above anything else in my time on YouTube and interacting with people, hearing people tell me their stories about what they take, what works for them, what doesn't work for them, what people get addicted to, etc., etc. Every single human being is composed differently with a different biochemistry and a different susceptibility to things like addiction and side effects. So there is no there is no one governing rule when it comes to withdrawing from a substance and whether or not that withdrawal is going to be marked with unbearable side effects. So I'm going to share with you what I experienced after I stopped just so you know, I was taking about somewhere between three and six grams just about every day or every other day was more common. Every other day was the most common frequency for me to dose my three to six grams. But that started turning into every day for about two or three days at a stop and then a day off, and then back on for a day, then maybe stopping, then back on for two days. So it was a, I, was, I was on a slippery slope into every day, okay? Now, a lot of you would say that my doses were very small. Three to six grams is considered a kind of a, um, a high threshold dose, I would say. So, those of you who are using Kratom to get off opioids, the dosages would probably be a lot higher and they'd probably be more frequently administered throughout the day, you know, four or five times a day. I was only dosing once a day, maybe twice a day, but I would cut that dose up so that I was never taking more than about five grams, maybe six max in any 24 hour period. Okay? So after stopping this, which was, like I said, about four days ago. Um, I didn't really notice anything the day that I stopped. I think my reason for that is because I had dosed late in the day the day prior. So I feel like my first day without Kratom isn't the best representation of what a day one would be like because I dosed probably around 8 o'clock in the evening to try to get to bed the night prior. The next day, however, was marked with some very serious irritability and anxiety, coupled with what I'll call chills, but very mild chills. I was cold a lot of the day, even though I had the heat on, I was under the covers, I was doing what I needed to do to stay warm, and yet I, I remained cold, I felt cold. So chills was, uh, was, was definitely something I experienced. Irritability, anxiety, big time fatigue, um, and a headache. Very, even though it was mild, it felt like it was there all the time. Never really let up. And I, I did take some ibuprofen. Uh, I drank a lot of teas, a lot of organic teas, herbal teas throughout this time period. And uh, here on uh, my fourth day, what I'll say is that I don't really experience now anything as far as any withdrawal symptoms. Here on day four, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm back to baseline, I would say, even before I started taking Kratom. This is kind of what life was like, what, 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 what my body felt like before I started using Kratom. So I have been using Kratom for about six to eight months. Maybe eight months is probably the better um, depiction of the time that I've been using Kratom every other day or every, you know, uh, every, well, every 
using it for two or three days at a stretch and then stopping and then doing it again. So six to eight months of fairly regular use with a dose of about three to six grams taken in a drink, like typically coffee, something like that. Um, and so that's, that's my experience. Now I have a lot of things to say about this beyond just my own experience. And what I need to say about this is that credit withdrawal is not a phantasm. It's not some joke. It's not in the mind of the people that are withdrawing from it. It is unpleasant and it can happen at relatively low doses if those dosage level or dosage lengths are long enough. In my case, eight months ish. Uh, and I, by the way, I quit cold turkey, which is, you know, not something you want to do when you're when you're trying to get off something like an opioid or like Kratom if you're at heavy doses with Kratom. Generally speaking, the preferred method of getting off Kratom and opiates for that matter is to taper. Come up with a smart tapering schedule that you can stick to that doesn't turn you into an animal. I didn't do that. If I probably, if I decided to taper, I probably would have done maybe, you know, two grams here and there for a day or two and then maybe stopped after that, but I didn't. Maybe my experiences would have been a lot different had I done that. Am I gonna be, am I gonna be trying Kratom again? Yes, absolutely. Am I gonna be using it as a tool in my, in my, uh, my toolbox to address issues related to pain, mood, energy? Yes. Kratom is going to stay in my quiver. It has very real benefits that I cannot deny. And I'm a huge fan of this incredible herb. However, clearly, even with a low dose, a comparatively low dose, administered every other day, I can still be susceptible to withdrawals after stopping. And that may just be my biochemistry. I, I am absolutely not saying, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not saying everyone is gonna experience this or that, that, or that no, no one will experience this, just that people's chemistries are very different. Here are a few things that helped me through this, by the way. Um, hydration, drinking a lot of water helped. Caffeine helped to uh, deal with the lethargy. Um, I didn't really feel like having any sex, so that was non-existent. So I can't say that sex helped or abstinence from it helped. <laughs> but uh, that, that was just a feature of going through the withdrawal. I wasn't interested in sex. My sex drive was non-existent virtually. And so all in all, I feel like there is some validity to the statement that long-term kratom use cessation can result in withdrawal symptoms, some of them being fairly unpleasant. Guys, for me, anxiety is a really unpleasant thing to deal with. And I would rather be depressed than be anxious. I would rather deal with dark thoughts, thoughts of suicide. Um, I would rather deal with that than deal with acute onset anxiety. That shit sucks. And that is one of the things I noticed most about this withdrawal experience is that the anxiety went through the roof for me and it stayed there for hours at a time. Even despite using things like ashwagandha and L-theanine and other herbs and compounds tailored to meet the need of those who suffer with anxiety. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, be very cautious if you decide that you want to try Kratom or that you want to try coming off of Kratom. Uh, be very mindful of the taper discipline and how all that works. Be kind to yourself too, by the way. Give yourself time to heal through this. Withdrawal from anything can be a very, very difficult thing depending on the amount and, and, and length of use. So be kind to yourself. Don't be mad at yourself if you relapse. Do not, under any circumstances, uh, think that you can do this by yourself if you're in too deep. I wanna, make, I wanna be very clear about that. If you're somebody who is roped into 
a substance like uh, an opiate or even kratom at high doses for a long time. Don't think that you, you and you alone are required to do this, that only you can do this. That's bullshit. Um, that is AA rhetoric nonsense. It's actually not even AA rhetoric. I should probably watch my mouth because the a, you know, AA would tell you that you need help, you need a third party or higher power to help you out, will help you out through this. Um, that may or may not be the case for you, but in my experience, those who are seriously beset by addiction, I mean, to the point where it runs their life, they have to have their substance or their, their, uh, their fix. For those people, they cannot do it on their own. Don't think that you need to do it on your own. Reach out for help. You know, if, if, if you think that I can help you in some way with my experience and what I've learned about addiction, and I know a fair amount about addiction, not just to Kratom, not just to opiates, but to other substances. And I've made quite a few videos about addiction in my past. So I, I, know, I know a fair amount about the subject of addiction and what it takes to kick shit. So if you think I can help you just with my own anecdotal experience, reach out to me. If there is a video that you'd like to see from me that you think might help with your own situation, let me know. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about this. I'd also like to hear from people who have actually withdrawn from Kratom, even if it's only been for a, you know, a few weeks or months at a time. What did you experience? What strains were you using? Did you experience the chills and anxiety and all the rest of it that I talked about? Drop a comment below. I love reading my comments. I love watching the engagement. You, you guys probably noticed that I reply to a lot of my comments. I'm very engaged with my subscribers. I think you guys are awesome people. Um, that's really it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like it and uh, send it to people you think might benefit from it. I'll leave it at that. Peace, love, and light. Have a good one, bye, guys. Bye-bye.